So about this chick in this video. And now someone wants to say my fence because I said nigger. You know what? Nigger, nigger, nigger. No, nigger I don't care not. if it's Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> nigger, nigger, nigger. Why? I'm in the South now, bitch. So everyone can fuck off. I'm from New Jersey. She so is. I? So I can say nigger as much as I want. Nigger, nigger, nigger. And if anyone else wants to fucking snake me on my fucking Finsta for saying nigger, I'm in a fur vest. I want you to buy my fucking fur vest. Because fuck you. Go to Neiman Marcus and buy my fucking fur vest. Because fuck you. I'm just saying. She said the N word more times than Trinidad James. Don't believe me, just watch, nigga, nigga, nigga. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch, nigga, nigga, nigga. Don't but obviously, it ain't the fact that she said nigga. We've been through this debate a million times on the podcast. It's not the word, it's the emotion you try to elicit when it comes out of your mouth. I mean, you heard the young lady. She clearly says she's not from the South, but she's been here long enough to use the exact same voice inflection as the worst character in the history of any movie that's ever been made. She said it the same way as that trifling woman on Rosewood. Yes, he was colored. He was a nigga, nigga, nigga. You see, that's what makes it so cringeworthy for me. As a black man, that scene has always stuck with me about how easy it is to get labeled a monster with the use of one simple word. But of course, as Americans, this is what we do. We forgive. Sometimes we forgive people before we even chastise them. Case in point, Ira Glasser, he's the former executive director of the ACLU, Norman Siegel, the former director of the New York Civil Liberties Union, and the black dude, Michael Meyer, the president and executive director of the New York Civil Rights Coalition. They all said that the impulse to punish Ms. Barber in response to what she said in that video is understandable, but they also called it an emotional reaction. They said the power to ban free speech is barred by the First Amendment. And basically, if we were able to disregard the First Amendment, then nothing Martin Luther King ever did would have ever reached the masses because it would have been stopped way before. We should use this as a teachable moment and let her stay in school. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. But I don't think Martin Luther King died for her to say nigga 12 times in 23 seconds with venomous intentions. It's okay for her to get kicked out of school. It's fine. When I was in college, my college roommate got kicked out of school for smoking weed in the dorm on campus. And I mean, I would argue that's way less of an egregious act than what she did by spewing that hate talk. But guess what? He turned out okay. She will be fine. I guarantee it. Just let her take her ass back to Jersey Shore with Snooki and them, re-enroll in a state school under an assumed name, and go find herself a job. Preferably at Neiman Marcus. So I could walk in and politely ask her to do your job, go in the back and find me an extra large vest. Because I like mine, but I want to buy your fur vest. Nigger, but I guess if I ain't got nothing nice to say, I shouldn't say. You know they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Nothing, nothing nice to say, say but I'll go nice.